Well, oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm very honored to be on this panel. Uh, I apologize. Uh, my colleagues know far more about the Greek economy than I do. I'm a global investor. And perhaps, um, if it's OK, I can structure my discussions on, on three forums. Uh, one is, f for the record, I do want to say that Greece is among the most compelling global opportunities right now that we see around the world. Um, so perhaps what I'll first focus is on the negative aspects as a foreign investor that we see. And then two, perhaps the, the most compelling opportunities that we see structurally. And three, how Greece is, a, albeit a domestic economy, is perhaps amongst the most externally oriented economies as well in terms of import of uh, tourism, but also an export of very strong capabilities in shipping, in logistics, and energy. Um, so for, from our perspective, just from the, the negative side, uh, I do believe that Greece, from a political perspective, was not treated fairly by the global financial system. If we do look at the amount of capital that was provided to Greece, the vast majority of that went to restructure banks, pay interest, and many of these were actually external creditors that were not actually part of the, the Greece domestic economy, and then to the banks, and the actual monies that flowed back into the real economy was about 20%. And this perhaps comes back to the point of why the vast majority of the population, which did not receive the direct benefits of these bailouts, and they actually went to financial institutions, much of those that flowed right out of Greece, is a legitimate concern for why the, why the people are upset and uh, need a, a greater, greater economic policy. So my first recommendation would be, which would be very difficult to implement, is a continued restructuring of debt levels before they get too high, because they will crowd out the private sector. Now, Germany, which is this one of the strongest um, EU members, may perhaps have forgotten the fact that in the 1950s, German debt was restructured quite significantly, well, well below, well more advantages to Germany post World War II than what, what Greece has, has, has encountered. And because of this, we've had a significant decline in GDP, a significant decline in the risk taking profile of, of the population. So that would be my first step, is that one must continue to negotiate with the EU to show examples of more aggressive debt restructuring before debt levels rise too high. Uh, the second area of, of, of concern with, with Greece, um, to be honest, and I apologize to be a foreigner, and I should perhaps not say this, is that the fiscal policy and taxation policy of Greece is such that it makes it difficult for foreigners to invest in Greece. And even if you look at Greek companies, many of them have relocated to Bulgaria, other jurisdictions around the region because of lower taxation. So th those are, are, are the two negatives. Now, let me focus on the three compelling positive reasons why that despite these negatives, Greece is perhaps the most compelling global opportunity that, that, that I see. So when I run my, my global asset allocations, I look around the world, the US market is at an all-time high, bond rates are incredibly low around the world, the VIX, the risk profile is incredibly low. These are all warning signs. So why be there in those areas and why come to Greece? There are three areas of Greece that are compelling as a foreigner. The first one is the property market. Uh, if we look at property crises in Florida, Portugal, Ireland in the recent past, the Greece pricing and property collapse is as close to the 1998 uh, Asian crisis. So the type of properties that one can invest as a foreigner are compelling. And um, if we just give you a brief example that you, you're well aware of, is, is the fact that if we can buy a apartment in, in central Greece at a price level that's below among any developed or emerging market area in the world, one can rent that out for tourism, given that there are 30 million tourists come on a population of, of, of only 10 million within Greece. Well, the, the, the end net rental yields we can get are 15% without any debt. We will not find those opportunities anywhere in the world within a stable Eurozone country with less risk. So number one, I would say as a foreigner myself, I'm looking at detailed large-based property portfolios as, as they come back to Greece. And this is my, my third trip coming back to investigate and do the due diligence. Number two, I would want to focus is on energy policy. Greece is blessed with incredible domestic energy assets. If you go down to Crete, the Southern Islands, the Peloponnesus, and look at these, these regions, they have very high sunlight. The cost of solar panels has declined to the point that if we go to Crete, and if we're reliable, let's say, on diesel, 
diesel costs are almost now four to five times that of solar. Now solar, of course, works during the daytime, but battery technology prices are collapsing as well. So to look at um, Greece, if we look at the mountainous nature, geothermal aspects, the ability to build hydro, wind, solar, Greece is blessed from a renewable area. Why are renewables important? Not only for cost in the environment, but the Greek uh, domestic, uh, cr uh, cr sorry, the, the external current account deficit is now getting it down to a close time low. If one measures it, the vast majority of that is energy and oil imports. So as we invest into Greek renewable energy projects, it benefits the country, lowers the cost, and lowers the foreign currency outflow, and allows you to delever the, the debt problem. So energy and debt and costs are an intrinsic part that as a foreigner, we're very attractively uh, looking at Greece. The third area is um, the, 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 the fact that Greek is an incredibly blessed nation for a variety of reasons. Uh, number one, or a, a couple of stats if we look at Greece, it has more islands per capita than the rest of Europe. It has more coastline than the rest of Europe. It has more sunny days than, than the rest of Europe, besides small nations, but as a major economy. It has more archaeological sites than the rest of Europe per capita. So if we look at that, Greece is unique. The, we cannot replicate Greece, and it is in a very attractive area. And if you look at your, the neighboring countries, Turkey, Egypt, beautiful countries that have great archaeological sites and similar weather patterns, they're going through, ge through geopolitical um, turmoil. So Greece as a tourism in industry will continue to boom. And so right now, as an external person, if supply of labor of uh, tourists is coming in, uh, property prices are very cheap, little investment in property. If we just come in, refurbish properties, this is an area that's perhaps the most compelling investment, investment opportunity that I see as a global investor. Now, the, the, the third aspect that I would focus on is the fact that Greece is in a geopolitically incredibly strong position because it's close to the, the trade barriers, of course. Of course, uh, tr if you look at trade, uh, the largest uh, merchant navy in the world is, is from Greece. So Greece is inherently now and throughout history been an externally oriented and trade oriented um, uh, economy. So if we, if we look at Greece, Greece's position, particularly the fact that the future of energy will be battery, solar, and renewable energy. Greece now has more access to, to natural gas because of the discoveries in Eastern Europe. The battery technology is a commodity that can be imported from China at very cheap prices. Renewable will, will grow. So Greece as a depot of energy the ability to export into the Balkans is, um, is, is one where it has a strategic advantage. So my view is if we step back, the debt structure that was imposed on Greece was uh, austerity in nature that actually construct, uh, constricts the economy and did not allow these investments to come back into the Greek real economy, which explains why there is a geopolitical uh, volatility. That has to be addressed very aggressively, and uh, there's precedent for that within the European Union that is far more generous than the, the terms that were given to Greece. Uh, combine that with investments in real estate, which if um, someone who has a background in real estate does not invest in Greece right now, they're missing out on an opportunity that is unprecedented since the 98 crisis in Thailand. And the third area is to encourage com more foreign investment for trading and mixing in, in energy production and to allow Greece to become the hub of energy in a safe geopolitical zone that can extract gas from the eastern area, which are more geopolitically insensitive or, or volatile, I apologize, within the eastern Levant, and to build that into it. So myself as a foreign investor, I'm finding Greece as the most compelling investment opportunity in the world because of the crisis, and that's when prices are low and one, one must invest here. But that's, that's the end. Κύριο Σουδρί, παρά τα την υπεροχή της Ελλάδας. Α, sorry. I would like to ask you, um, where, in which field now uh, would you invest in Greece? The field, something particular. I think the question should be the reverse. What fields would I not invest in? The entire country is is on sale. It's on a fire sale. 
But for me, the priority right now is property in Greece. Where else in the world, you can't go to Mumbai, Moscow, New York, London, where I can buy a 100,000 euro apartment in the center of the economics zone within Athens, rent it out through Airbnb, and get a 15% yield without any debt. Uh, to f uh, find, an, find another opportunity for me and I'll go to another country. I, I can't find it. So I'm going to come to Greece to look at large-scale investments in portfolios, perhaps well over 1,000. That if you can buy 1,000 portfolios at 50,000 euros, and let's say maybe two-thirds of, maybe a quarter of them are, are worthless, perhaps. Perhaps those properties are, are not worthless. But even if we do that, so my net investment into Greece may be 65,000 euros per property, my yield is still the best in the world. So it's a risk resistant return. Property is compelling. If any global property investor does not invest in Greece right now, they're making a strategic error.